But in the UK, if you claim the welfare benefits, right, and they start hassling you after a certain point, which is kind of funny because I'm 60, and uh, <laughs> it's just their ideas are always rubbish. <laughs> Nice to be here. Yeah. <laughs> claiming benefit now. About eleven months. Job nowhere in England. Nothing going down. You can make your page. So they sent me a letter. Said you got to go to this place. We'll call you first for a date. <laughs> I'm gonna just read the letter out. It's gonna be quite like a story song. How to work? <laughs> no future at all. We can help. I forgot the company name. He said, straight ahead, we can get you back into work. Help with reading and writing. Mathematics too. Got free coffee and tea. Make new friends, hang around with them too, in the same position as you. Don't you worry now. We'll help you back to work. Oh yeah. Right underneath. You got a testimony, yeah. Right underneath the people they supposed to help. Cause you know what I'm gonna say. No testimony is bad at all. This woman ran She sounded young Oh yeah This woman ran I said how old are you by the way A bit rude but she said I'm pretty old I said well then what on earth gonna do for me she said sir we can guarantee if you come on our free cars you'll be back in work real soon I said what are you talking about well, I was a nurse before, 21 years, and I've been a teacher for 19, and 
want to say Can I take your details now Right over the phone So when you come into class We won't be wasting time She said you were a nurse I said yeah You're a teacher. I said, yeah. She said, yeah, the word. I said, correct. And then she said, how's your reading and writing? Yeah. Must have feel a lot of people if you can't read and write in those jobs. I said, pretty good. Lord have mercy, is that what it's coming to? If that's all I got to offer, you mean more trouble than you were before. Yeah. It's like Alcoholics Anonymous. But we judge. Why on earth? Would you want to meet anybody in the same position? Lord have mercy, I was losing patience, you can only be so polite, I said I'm fine, didn't you read my CV, I said, she said no, I said anyway, can you tell me how many jobs you found? I said, what do you mean? I said, well, that's what it said on your pamphlet. And they get 600,000 to help you find work. It's a joke and up. It's to help you find work. I'm just really burst out laughing. So... That was the end of that. But you don't have to go on this one, but the next one, if you don't go on it, they stop your benefits. Lord up, miss. Free coffee and tea. So I said, where's the place? What time got to go? She said, it's in there. And she said, it's on the brochure. 12 p.m. For we every Tuesday, don't you worry, we'll get you into work. Oh, cause they got a list of jobs they found for people. Tesco, supermarket, security. Driving a crane, just what I need is 60. On call center, on a minimum wage. Cause they always like to forget, to tell the truth. You get paid monkey in it. Yeah. Don't you just. They never say nothing but stuff like that. Yeah. Where's the time? Alright.
looking at all this story. I went down and there's about 40 guys there, a couple of women I suppose. And they were just uh, very unfortunate people. They couldn't read or write. And she still said to me again, you got to fill this form in and answer these mathematic questions, which were probably for like 10 year olds. And then she went on with this, so it was hilarious, right? And said, uh, each day what you're going to be doing, interview techniques and all this, as if you give a shit at my age. <laughs> it was just like, oh my god, anyway. There's this guy there working for him, and he said, you might get further to me if you dressed a bit smarter. And I was just like, you what? Honestly. Because everybody knows nothing comes and nothing with that rubbish kind of thing. It's probably the same throughout the world, I guess. I don't know, really, but it's just... So, what can you say? I'm really going to get... No, uh...